Alright, what I'm going to do is a short video where I explain how to do a PowerPoint um, to turn it into a slide so then you can actually um, use that as your testimonial. Um, so what you do is you, you go to, oh, it might, might have went a bit too quick for you there. Uh, go to Microsoft PowerPoint, whichever one you're using, PowerPoint 2003 this is, and then just click on the uh, one that we're using. So we'll go into a new slide here. Um, if you want to change the background, I'll go a little bit slower on this so you can you can sort of pick up some of the things I'm going to do. Uh, what you can do is there, go to Format, Background, click on that, and then you can change to whatever colour you want. Um, have a little play with that. And Apply, Apply All. If you apply all, it goes to every screen, every slide will come up the same. Um, so that's getting us to a situation where we've got a slide. So first of all, what we're going to put in the name is, uh, say, Gavin Scott. Story, and that's that bit done. Um, then I'm going to put a bit of text in here. So I've already wrote that. So I've got I've wrote it in in, uh, in Microsoft Word here, just a, a little bit. So I'm going to speed things up. I'm keeping it very simple. Obviously, put it a little bit more in. Keep it positive. Keep it short. Um, keep, uh, if it's your first check, just see what you what you do or, or doing part time or full time or add a little bit in there. So all I'm going to do is paste that in there. I used to work in the shipyards. And now what I want to do is to have a picture of me. I'll stick a picture of me there. And I'm going to stick a, check it, uh, a picture of me check down here. So what I'm going to do now is to go to insert. Uh, and then we'll go to picture. And then I'll ask for picture from a file. Or clip art. So this is going to be file. So I'll click on file. And uh, what I'm going to do is click on desktop. Um, so I've got a picture on here, uh, we'll use that one. So we'll click on that. Obviously that's huge. So what you then do is move that across, see here a bit, up there a little bit. Move that across to there, move that across to there, move that across to there, got to get rid of the writing there. Move that across to there, across to there. There you go. And then what we're going to do is going to stick the check it uh, below from um, from two th from two thousand to two thousand and eight, I think it was. So we'll go back there. I've got that saved on my desktop as well somewhere. So there, yeah, that's a little testimonial. So if you could do that there uh, with your kind of little picture, you stick your picture up there, whatever your name is in your story, then a little bit about you, put a little bit more than what I put in, and then you can reduce the size of that to make it smaller to fit to fit more in. Um, and then put your check at the bottom. And then we'll have more stories to fire out to everybody. You can use that on Facebook, Twitter, your autoresponders, your contact managers, your text, the SMX text. Because the more stories we'll find out there about clean easy, the better. Um, so that's how to do it. Now, this is a trick. How to actually get this to become a JPEG. So what you do is you come across to here on the file. And you go to save as. And then you go to the... the go to the where it says a presentation now, this is a powerpoint i've done anyway so that's what it was called is the name of the file so you change this to something else so we'll put um it's just so you can find this basically so we go to gavin scott as the file name and then what you do is you hit this drop down as save type and then you look what you're looking for is for the jpeg file interchange format so you click on that and then Gavin Scott will find it on the and uh, I'll just put PPP so I can find it easy on the dashboard. So interchange save and it'll save current slide or every side. Just want to save current side. 
save and that should be it you should find that on there there you are there it is on there so then you can actually send that to people you can either email that up to you so once you've done your story email that up to me and then I'll be able to share that where everybody put it into a web link or you can start sharing it on Facebook, Twitter, your autoresponders, your contact manager, your text message. Such a clever little tool to do it, and that's a how-to to actually do it. So let's see loads more stories coming through, because the more stories we share, the bigger the business is going to grow. And be quite honest, we're in a stage now where I've always said the person making the most money with clean easy hasn't joined. With technology now, how to use that, and also we're in a pre-launch now. We've just been testing the Clean Easy Plus catalog. That's products from, from anywhere from £30 up to £200. It's going to make a massive difference. We've had people get have eight, over £800 worth of orders out of them little catalogs, and we've got limited stock of them catalogs. Just a tiny amount of stock of that catalog. It goes live the beginning of July 2013. So some people kind of see the Clean Easy Works when you've got products just earning five, most products are between five, ten, fifteen pounds. They can't see how you can make any money because they don't understand the network marketing, the circle side of it. But they'll just grasp it a little bit better when they've got products up to two hundred pounds because they can see that people can make money. Once you get them involved, then you'll actually get them to see the see the circles. So this is a little training. Um, I'll, I'll, you can keep that uh, to one side when it's your turn or or if somebody in your team wants to need it, need the PowerPoint, and I'm sure some people will come up with much better graphics than what I've actually done. So that that's a, that's that's a little thing, and I'm actually just going to stick this on Facebook as well, so you'll uh, you'll actually see that as well. So that's that recorded. Uh, keep watching all the videos if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you're not on my Facebook fan page, get connected to that because there's always tips going down that. And if you're my team, make sure you enjoy to the link to my uh, team email loop.